Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are looking at uh, Young Modulus, which is a continuation of uh, the last video uploaded, uh, Elasticity and Uxla. Okay, uh, let's consider a cylindrical wire of length L, as shown on the screen here, having cross sectional area A, that is this part. And uh, when a force of force F is applied on it to extend it through an through E, what are the things that we can really derive from uh, all this when a cylindrical wire of length L is extended by force F acting on the cross sectional area of the wire? What are the things that we can quickly derive from this? Okay. The first time that we're looking at here before young modulus is stress. Now, stress is defined as the force acting per unit cross sectional area. That is uh, the force acting here per unit cross sectional area. That's why mathematically stress equal to force over area. It is measured in Newton per meter square. Also, we have uh, another term, strain in the elastic material, which is described as uh, extension per unit length. As we can see here okay now young modulus itself is described as uh, it's defined as the ratio of uh, tensile stress to the tensile strain another way of describing it is that uh, it is an ability of a material to withstand changes in length when under a tension or compression okay mathematically Young modulus is uh, described as the ratio of a stress and strain, and that can be written as force over area divided by its uh, extension per length, and we can resolve that one to the product of force and original length of the elastic material divided by the product of uh, the cross-sectional area and the extension in the material. Also, young modulus is measured in Newton per meter square. Let's quickly consider some example. That has to do with young modular stress and strain. Now, in continuation with the last video, this is sample three. In this example, we have a wire of length five meter and diameter two millimeter, extends by 0.25 millimeter when a force of 50 newton was used to stretch it from its end. Now, what are the parameters in this question? Number one, we have a length of the wire to be five meter. And uh, we have the diameter of the wire to be 2 millimeter, as we all know the wire is cylindrical in nature. And the force 15 using apply on uh, the cross section area of the wire extends the wire by uh, 0.25 meter. So all these are what we have uh, as our given parameters here. Now, having our diameter in millimeter, we need to convert it to meter by dividing it by 1000, and we have this value. Also, our extension is in millimeter. We converted it to meter, and we have a 0 0.00025 meter after dividing it by 1,000, and we have a force 15 newton. Remember that stress equal to force over area, as we can see here. But in this case, the cross-sectional area of wire is the area of the circular face of the wire. So that's why we are replacing the area in this formula with the formula of uh, area of circle but in another material the cross-sectional area may take another form probably square or rectangle always use the area of this cross-sectional area in place of area in the formula for stress so by doing that we have our force 15 newton divided by pi r square the value of our pi as given in the equation is 3.142 and our r which is the radius of the wire is the diameter of the wire divided by 2 that is r equal to d over 2 so dividing the value of diameter by 2 we have a 0.001 and squaring that and putting it under 50 for 50 newton we have uh, the answer for our stress to be 1.59 multiplied by 10 raised to power 7 newton per meter square also, we have to find our strain, the strain in the wire. The strain is given as uh, extension over length, and that one is direct from uh, the given parameters. So, extension 
over the length of the wire is what we have here and that will give us uh, 5 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 string does not have unit because uh, we have a uh, extension measured in meter and length also measured in meter so that's why strain does not have any unit so our young modulus which is uh, stress over strain we just pick the value of our stress calculated here and the strain here bringing them together in the formula we have the value of our young modulus to be 3.18 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 11 newton per meter square let's consider one more example in the last example which is example 4 we have to calculate the strain in the steel wire of cross-sectional area 2.5 millimeter square when load of 1500 newton is hung from its lower hand and we have our young modulus given as uh, 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power 11 newton per meter square so what are the given parameters we have our area given as 2.5 millimeter square and we need to convert that to meter square and that is what we did here now we divided uh, 2.5 that is we multiplied uh, 2.5 by 10 raised to power minus 30 uh, which is the value of uh, millimeter to meter conversion and by squaring that millimeter to meter conversion that is what makes us to have a 2.5 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 6 meter square uh, and uh, we have a force uh, F equal to 1500 Newton acting on the wire to stretch the wire, to extend the wire. So using the formula Young modulus equal to stress over strain, we have our strain to be equal to stress divided by young modulus and first thing we need to do here is to find our stress what is stress stress is force over area and we have the force to be equal to 1500 newton and also our area equals to 2.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 putting that into the formula we have uh, the value of our stress to be 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 8 newton per meter square now Substituting that into the formula of strain here, we have a strain equals to 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 8 divided by 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 11. And our final answer equal to 3 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. As we all know, strain does not have any unit. So with that, we come to the end of the video. Please, if you have any question, please feel free to drop your question at the comment section. And the question will be attended to and also please do remember to like and subscribe to our channel like this video and subscribe to our channel and feel free to share the video with uh, your friends as well thanks for watching